Good morning again, everyone. This is Tim Lydon reporting from the ProFish Warehouse in Washington, D.C. And today we're filming a little bit of informational um, information for you guys regarding one of the most important products we sell at ProFish, and that is our tuna program. And the tuna program is important because in, in this day and age in the restaurant industry, many chefs are using the tuna either raw or they're putting a, a slight sear on each side of it. So one thing they look for is they look for a high quality tuna that is consistently um, attractive and they can meet the menu standards they're looking for. So our responsibility is to make sure that we're able to deliver that. So whether we're delivering our fish to the restaurant community or we're delivering our fish in our retail applications or the tuna you receive at our farmer's market, we take a lot of time and we have taken a lot of time over the 30 years of selecting the vendors that we can trust. Just like you trust us to deliver you a high quality fish, we put a certain level of trust into the vendors that we choose to work with to make sure they are consistently delivering to us the highest quality fish. Regardless of price, we want to make sure that what we receive each and every day is of the highest quality and what we process daily is of the highest quality. We know if we do our job that the customers who trust us to deliver them a high quality tuna will always come back and buy tuna through us. The one thing we're going to do today, well several things we're going to do today. One, we're going to show you our receiving procedures. Now, as I said, we receive shipments from all over the world. The particular fish that we're looking at today came into us from the Maldives. Now, if you look on a map, the Maldives is way out in the Pacific. It's, if you look on a map, it's extremely left of Hawaii. And if you look at the map, it's extremely right of Asia. But it's out there in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. So logistics plays a big factor in getting fish to us. And the, and the fact that the vendors that we choose from can bring fish, catch fish, process fish, put fish on an airplane and logistically get to us where the quality is still extremely high, a high level number one fish is amazing. And they do it consistently and they are a vendor that we have learned to work with and trust over the years. And so we want to show you a little bit about our program. So there's numerous boxes that come into us and most, fit, most boxes that come into us will carry either one or two, two fish. And as you see, a couple things that are important is one, you got to make sure that the packaging is right. Now, one thing about this packaging, it has these insulated bags in here, which keeps the temperature right inside the fish. But the vendor also does a great job and they pack the fish on ice. They'll also put ice packs within the cavity. So they're icing the fish from the inside and from the outside to make sure that they keep all the fish right around as close to 32 degrees as possible. So what we do, when the fish comes in, we'll open up the, the box. And as Manrique's gonna do and Elvin's gonna do, Elvin, I want you to cut the tail, okay? We're gonna take the fish and, and again, every, every shipment we get comes with a packing list which shows us the number of pieces we're expecting plus also, also the weight of each fish. And so what we're doing now is we will place each fish onto the scale. So as you can see by this fish, it's a 125 pound fish, that's a large fish. And now we start doing our internal evaluation on what we see. Now, a couple of things we're looking for. We're gonna look at the outside of the fish to make sure that, it's, that the skin's not beaten up. Make sure that it's not, there's no removal or no dents in the fish. And this fish is it's a high quality. You're gonna to touch it for firmness. You're gonna see that this fish is extremely firm. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at, we're gonna look at this tail cut and we're going to look at it from the, the bloodline standpoint, also the color of the meat. So this fish, this fish to us looks like it's a, a two plus grade fish. So again, as we, as we go through our grading system, we have several grades. We have a number one grade, which we would consider applicable for sushi application. Then we have a, a two plus grade, which I would consider this fish. Now, going back to what I said before, how we ice the fish is extremely important at this late sideways, diagonal. How we ice the fish is extremely important. So what we want to do is when you ice tuna, you're going to ice it from the top, but also one thing Manrique is going to do is we're going to focus on making sure that we put a lot of ice 
on the internal cavity. So we're putting the fish straight into the cavity and into the belly of the fish right in here as well. Again, it goes back to what I was saying earlier. You want to make sure that you're icing the fish from the outside in and from the inside out. The final part of our evaluation of the tuna is that we take it into the cutting room. Now a tuna, unlike a regular fish, as you're going to see by the work that Luis is doing on there, he's going to remove each loin from the carcass of the fish. Now the average tuna is going to yield about 70% fish now, or 70% meat. Now what that means is that on the fish, approximately 70% is going to be usable by us and the other 30% is going to be either tail pieces or shoulder pieces or bones or fins. And so what now Louise is doing, as you see, cut the first loin off the fish. And you can tell it's an extremely nice, it's extremely nice fish. And as you watch, I mean, Luis has a, a definite experience and a definite skill in how he cuts the, um, cuts the meat off this fish. Uh, the work that our cutters do inside Pro Fish is a key part of the process and is as key as anything the, the buyer does or the salesman does or the, or the driver does because these men take uh, a tremendous amount of pride in their work in the craftsmanship that they bring to work every day. Um, this is truly a skill and something that um, I've tried to do numerous times over my career and it just, it's not meant to be. These guys are just, uh, these guys are professionals and uh, they make our job easier because they, they evaluate the fish properly, they handle the fish properly, and they process the fish wonderfully every single day. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. He knows exactly where to cut Thank you again for joining us in our warehouse, learning a little bit more about our tuna program, and we look forward to seeing your orders online. We look forward to meeting you at the farmer's markets and wholesale customers. We thank you for your, your years and years of loyalty.